Whew, just getting back from a very cold, blustery day at Lake James. We absolutely throttled them again. Book a trip, 828-354-0250. Enjoy this footage, and then we're gonna be breaking down how we did it, and specifically the bait. Gonna clue you guys in on one of my favorite baits to throw for big small mouth, big spots, big large mouth in Highland Reservoirs in the mountains of Western North Carolina. Bluebird skies. Just you gotta be finesse. Kai Tech, this is 3.3 on a quarter ounce tungsten to a hook. Okay, monster small mouth right there. Oh my gosh, it's a monster. Dude, that's a freaking small mouth. <laughs> my hands are numb. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? That, look at that Kytec. Freaking monster small mouth right there. That fish is probably 21 inches. Freaking numb. I can't even grab them. Got them. Sweet. Another good small mouth. Another pretty one.
wow, what a fun day of fishing it was yesterday. I'm actually filming this uh, the day after we had this great trip. But anyways, just want to talk about really one of my favorite, if not my favorite bait when it comes to high pressure, cold water, finicky fish, don't know really what to do. I just want to get a couple bites. Like when it's the hardest conditions, high pressure after a cold front, what do I do? And a big, big thing for me is throwing just a single Kitek, no flash, no underspin, no, uh, you know, flashy swimmer, no nothing, just literally a simple Kitek. And what I do with this bait is really I'm targeting areas that are what I would call uh, navigational obstructions or just kind of deep water structure, places where I know those fish are going to kind of hunker down after a front rolls through, you know. We're targeting offshore rock piles, offshore breaks, long points way out deep, uh, maybe a stump or a little brush pile out deep. And what I really like to do is throw a heavier head and a smaller Kitek. So, you know, I'm talking about like a Kitek 2.8 or a Kitek 3.3, and I'm talking anything from a quarter ounce tungsten head all the way to a 3 8 ounce or even a half ounce head with a small hook. It's important to have a two-aught or three-aught hook. I prefer the two-aught just because the two-aught doesn't go as far down the back of that Kitek and is gonna give it more action. So, you know, when I'm out there, I'm pretty much, I'm letting it hit the bottom. I'm, I'm letting it hit the bottom. I flip the bale over and it is just like a crawl, deathly slow. And uh, this is a great technique for spotted bass. This is a great technique for big largemouth. And then like you saw in this video, big smallmouth. Uh, he's not my buddy, but I know him. We know each other. Paul Mueller, he won Lake Lanier, right? The Lake Lanier Elite Series uh, a couple years ago on this exact setup. Of course, he was throwing, I say exact setup, he was throwing, uh, he's a Reigns guy, so he's throwing the rock vibe. But all the guys down there, Chris Zaldane, he was throwing a Mega Bass Spark Shad and a Tungsten Head. Uh, Paul Mueller was throwing a, the Reigns Swim Bay with a Tungsten Head. And it's just getting down there in deep water and creeping it slow. You know, when that water, especially this time of the year, that kind of early winter, which is like that late fall winter transition where that water's dropping, you know, as much as three, four degrees some nights because it's so cold at night, those fish just kind of hunker down and don't want to move. And we're targeting them with light line and a Kitek swim bait. Uh, you know, you can go up to a 3.3, I mean a 3.8, but I really like that 3.3 or 2.8. So that's definitely a big key. When I'm choosing colors, um, I have a couple factors that I'm really, really thinking about. And it's really just matching the hatch and then the light penetration in the water, okay? So what I mean by match the hatch is in this specific lake, there's herring, there's thread fin, right? And those herring and thread fin kind of have that olive green pearl iridescent back when that light hits them and they kind of have a pearly uh, almost rainbow like prism on their belly so i really like throwing a natural color when it's sunny when it's sunny like bluebird skies and there's a lot of light penetration i like to go with a super super natural color i like electric shad i like thread fin i like shad uh, this one here is Rainbow Shad, Alewife, pretty much any of the ones that have a darker kind of natural back in that pearl chrome or kind of sparkly glittered belly. And then when it's cloudy, right, there's not as much light penetration. So I like something that absorbs the light. So I like my sight flashes, my pearls, my bones, my whites. So if it's cloudy conditions, cloudy, cold weather, I'm going to go with like a white a pearl, something that absorbs the light, you know, it, it almost like glows under the water. And then when it's really, really sunny, I like to throw something that's very, very natural that just absolutely looks like a shad. I just think the simpler, the better. These fish are, you know, these fish are going through so much in the water with the weather changing and they just need something simple and natural uh, to get some bites. So that is my setup. I'm throwing it on eight pound test eight pound P line uh, tactical and that's the deal right there I put a little drop of super glue on the head to keep that bait locked in but that right there will absolutely get bit 
I don't care, hardest fishing conditions there is, time of the year, but really I like it in the cold water, cold fronts, um, post frontal, just something super simple, swimming really slow on those bottom. When those fish are hunkered down and really not in the mood to eat, they will eat this. You can also do one little modification and you might think like that's stupid and I don't think it makes a big difference. And here's the deal, you may be right, but a Kai Tech with this big old paddle tail on the back, man, this thing swings so heavy side to side, boom, boom, boom. Sometimes what I'll actually do is I will take and cut the sides of this bait off just like that and make that tail a little bit smaller and give it a little less action. Just the more natural, the better. And I promise that little bit of cut, you know, I just cut off the two little, the two little sides right there of the tail but that right there just brings it in and just makes it a little bit of a tighter action and super super i mean i i've seen it where i'm like man i don't i don't know if that's making a difference or not but i put this on someone else's rod versus a guy on the back of the boat and this has caught more fish so you know little modifications like that little tighter action will absolutely get bit but we got everything at Dreamcatchers fish and supply call us we got the kitex got the kitex tungsten heads Got all the colors you could ever want. So call us 828-354-0250. We'll ship them to you, get you dialed in. But anyways, Kitech, Fat Swing Impact, 3.3, 2.8, tungsten, quarter ounce, two-out hook, really hard to beat.